So I want to show you just how to keep it simple and create a one slide PowerPoint that can be meaningful. So I want to create a PowerPoint on a really neat little uh, insect that I discovered this summer. And this insect is called the cicada wasp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert some pictures about the cicada watch wasp, sorry, and then uh, I'll show you kind of what I mean to put this all together into a, a pretty cool one slide PowerPoint. So I'm going to type in cicada wasp. And all I did was did the insert online pictures. And here is this little handsome devil here. And I'm going to choose several of these pictures to prove my point. So here's one that has the cicada, the wasp actually snatching a cicada. Here's one where it looks like a cicada wasp baby is coming out of a cicada. Here's a picture of the wasp. I'll even put a picture of a cicada so you know what that looks like. Here's the wasp. That's a pretty good picture of what I saw this summer. And I'll include this one as well. And I'm just going to insert these six pictures into my presentation. Now I'm on the online version of PowerPoint. You can do this with the online version or the full version. Usually I would use the full version. Notice this is going to give me, um, actually this, I like this designer is going to give me this design, which I think looks pretty cool. This gives me all of these different pictures. And I'm going to type in I'll tell you just briefly my story of the cicada wasp. But I'll, I'll walk you through it as I create this presentation. So I have all of my images the way I want them. So now what I'm going to do is actually just animate the images so that they come in when I want to talk about them throughout my presentation. So for example, I'm going to go up to the animations area here and I'm going to select a picture. So this will be the first picture that I take and so I'm going to say fly in. I can choose a variety of different things, but this is going to be my first one. And you do want to be cognizant of the order you want these to come in. So I like the fly in one. It's, it's pretty clean and easy. So I'm just going to say fly in. So that's number one. And notice it puts a number one there. So this is going to be the first image that comes in during my presentation. So I'm going to talk about the cicada wasp here. I'm going to, this will be number two. So I'm going to do this one fly in. From here, pun intended, here's a picture of a cicada. I'll have that fly in next. Then I'm going to show you this one is going to be the next one. And notice it's putting them in order. So that's the fourth one. This is the fifth one. And then finally, the last of that. Oops, I think I chose the wrong one here. So slight problem. Maybe I can do that at the very end. So let me just say fly in here. Oh, no, I did get it right. So there's number six. So I just saw the number three here. So this is going to be my first slide. This one's going to be the second picture that comes in. Third over here. Uh, fourth here and fifth. And then finally six. So I'm ready to go. I've set up my presentation ready to go. And if I use, say, my Teams viewer or Zoom, I can just start my slideshow, share my screen to my students, and I'm ready to present. So here goes. I'm just going to do slideshow. Uh, I, it's going to ask me. This is relatively new. If you want to do subtitles, I'll turn those on. It's always good to have subtitles. And then I'm going to present my one slide slideshow, keeping it simple. And here it is. So. The cicada wasp looks something like this. He's pretty big, so he's almost the size of your pinky. So it is a big wasp. Actually, uh, the first time I came across him this summer in Fredonia, he kind of buzzed across my leg. And um, he, it was when I looked down, it was, it was a pretty big wasp. So this is what he looks like a little bit up close. Pretty much your typical wasp, but it's big. 
Then, just so you know, the, the reason it got its name is it preys on cicadas. And you probably hear cicadas in the summer. They're those bugs that make that really loud buzzing sound in the summer. And then eventually, uh, you know, you'll see them zooming around. They're pretty popular in the summer. What happens is this cicada wasp actually captures cicadas. So look at the size difference between the cicada and the wasp. But what it does is it captures them, it stings it, which paralyzes it, kind of turns it into a nice little zombie. Then it takes it to its hole. And we actually had one of these have a nest right underneath our patio. Again, that's what was kind of fascinating about it. And it will take the cicada with it into its little lair. And from there, it will lay its eggs in the cicada. Pretty gross, I know. And then what happens is over the winter, it stays in there and the larva eats the cicada all winter long. So in the spring, the brand new baby wasp comes out of the cicada and forms its own little uh, nest somewhere. So pretty interesting wasp. It's relatively harmless from what I know. It really uses its sting for cicadas. I'm sure it would use its sting on you if it really needed to, but they're relatively tame, but they're big and a little scary looking. But uh, that's how you can make a one slide PowerPoint that can be meaningful to look at for your students.